Dear Keisha, we are finally here. Today is the start of a new life together, and I'm beyond excited to start this covenant intended to reflect the love and relationship between Christ and the church. Thank you for always being my rock, no, my boulder, for keeping me grounded and pushing me to be the best version of myself. I know that we have a lot to work on, but I believe in us. There is no doubt that marriage will get difficult at times, but knowing that we will be navigating through it together makes it all better. Being married to you means living and laughing with my closest friend. I'm so thankful that God has given me a best friend in you. I can't help but burst with joy to think that I have found someone who loves me as hard as you do, Acacia. I love you. I promise to love you every day of my life, even when it gets hard. But knowing us, there's going to be way more good times than bad and more smiles and laughs than tears. I'm beyond excited and happy to call you my wife. To many more donut dates, random night drives, crazy workouts, and Disney movies. Love, Evan Zane. Evan, today is the day, the day that is all about me and you, the day that we make lifelong promises to each other, and the ultimate promise to love each other for the rest of our lives. All the turns and twists in the road, all the hills and valleys have led us to the perfect destination. Here is where we start a new journey and a new life together. I know God has so much in store for us. He has already blessed me with you, which is the perfect start to a life full of God's most wonderful blessings for me and you. Evan, thank you for loving me through all the stubbornness, my imperfections, and weaknesses. Thank you for empowering me when I've been at my lowest. Thank you for forgiving me again and again. Last but not least, thank you for sharing me what God's love truly entails. To love me at my best, to love me at my worst, to love me through it all. I promise to put you and our marriage before all else, and I promise to put God before all of that. God smiling down on us as we commit to the promise for us before all our loved ones. I love you, Evan Zhang, and I can't wait to be together for the rest of our lives. Love, Acacia. Major Jason Bogaris, I had the privilege of officiating today's ceremony, and I had the privilege of working with both of these individuals at West Point through Officers Christian Fellowship, and I also had the privilege of teaching them in class. So these are two people that I love very dearly, and I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to do this. No matter the distance that there may be between us, I promise to love you intentionally, fiercely, and unconditionally for as long as I live. I, Evan Zhang, promise to build a family with you and a home filled with patience, love, and laughter. Evan, I'm excited for a lifetime of partner gym workouts, road trips where I get car sick all the time, and finding new donut places as we laugh, cry, pray, and sing our way through life. I love you, Evan, so much, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. We've said some vows, we've exchanged some rings, so that brings us to an important moment. Evan, you may kiss your bride. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say, falls into place when I'm with you and you have found the love that sets me free Acts 25 30. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish. Now everybody stand up. Let's raise a toast to my best friend and his beautiful bride, Mr. and Mrs. Zong.